Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Michal and today we are starting season 4 of Breaking Bad. I'm really really excited! It gets better and better! Um, now to celebrate this uh, fine occasion, I want to I want to address uh, one of your comments. It was uh, Juzu Juzu. Where's your comment, Juzu? If you're watching this, hi! I'm making your dreams come true. I'm answering your question. Or more like request. Let's see. Here, Juzu Juzu. It would be nice to hear what you think are the top worst mistakes or worst acts done by Walter and Jesse. Uh, so top three for both of them. So I have a list. Um, it's not really... I couldn't really decide what to put higher, what to put lower. Those are just three um, worst uh, things that each character uh, have done so far. So here are a few things I wrote. Again, it's not necessarily in that order. I will start with Jesse. I think it's uh, the least uh, divisive. <laughs> Wait, how many things I have here? Okay, I put three. Okay, so we have, um, first of all, uh, him trying to sell drugs to people in his program. People, regular people who are just trying to make themselves better and stop doing drugs and turn their life around. Uh, during the watch of that episode, I think it was episode 9, I said that that's evil. <laughs> I mean, it's terrible. I, he didn't. He didn't really manage to sell to anyone, but it's the intent. He did want to, to sell it to them. So yeah, it's on my list. Another thing, um, the way he... And Walter kind of pushed uh, the boundaries of the territories. And that made Jesse send, uh, what's his name, Combo, to a disputed territory. And that got Combo killed, basically. Um, so yeah, that was a huge mistake. And then finally, obviously, shooting Gail. Gail, although he's not innocent, I mean, he, he is cooking crystal which is illegal but all of, so far it seems like he's a like a good guy just a weird geek although I still think something was wrong with him I don't know what he gives me kind of a vibe but as far as we know he was a good person the most important thing is that Walter and Jesse they made the decision to get rid of a good person I know that Jesse kind of tried to, he tried to push Walter away from that idea, uh, but eventually he pulled the trigger, so it's on the list. <laughs> now let's move on to Walter! Yay! Okay, with Walter, I'm, I'm gonna actually, I had fun uh, making this list because most of the things that he did, like killing uh, Domingo and killing those two gangsters. So even though killing or murdering is like one of the worst punishable crimes ever, it didn't make the list. What did make the list is, I'll start with the obvious, letting Jane die. Now here in the list I wrote uh, killing Jane, but I'm trying to avoid uh, saying that he killed Jane because he didn't technically kill Jane. Uh, he just let her die. <laughs> he watched her die, which is is horrible. It always makes me think of um, the last episode of uh, Seinfeld, where they think that if uh, our, you know Jerry, Elaine, all those four people, they think that if they just stand by and look at a crime happening, then they're safe and nothing happens to them. But actually, uh, the law says otherwise. Uh, so that's the same with um, with Walter. <laughs> I don't know what a segue to Seinfeld. <laughs> that's so weird. Like I keep saying, I understand why he did it, but again, it, it was wrong. She wasn't a crazy criminal person. She just wanted to live in New Zealand with Jesse. Uh, another thing on the list is the fake emergency call Walter made Saul uh, do to Hank. Uh, it's so despicable. Like, how did... 
I don't, how did they come up with this? This is crazy. What a twisted man. I mean, the, the twisted mind of playing with people's emotions just to save your own ass. And then I also wrote um, Living Gretchen and Elliot. I don't know why he left the team. I'm also not sure if we're gonna get an answer to that. I mean, if he had stayed, he could have had everything. So that was a big mistake. Because Juzu, you wrote not just the uh, worst acts or actions but also mistakes so that was a huge mistake as a bonus i'll give you another one for walter and that's when he destroyed the car of the businessman just because the businessman was a jerk and walter just had it yeah that's not cool walter <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm really excited to see... Uh, one of you uh, told me that, yes, Gail is in fact dead. Maybe you're just lying so that I'll be surprised in this episode that we're gonna watch now. I'm really excited. Let's start watching. And um, oh my god, I mean, I think about how uncomfortable and awkward working together will be now i mean between walter jesse and uh, and gus and mike and victor they tried to kill walter and now he's still work he's gonna still work for them awkward uh yeah so let's start watching uh the first uh, episode of season four. Oh, hello i suppose it's some kind of a uh flashback yeah to when they only uh created the lab you make so much noise and a mess feels like christmas morning it's really coming when do you think we'll be up and running within a month i'd say two weeks <laughs> or yeah <laughs> two weeks good very good <laughs> That sample you asked me to run, is that our competition? It really is quite good. If that is our competition, we have our work cut out for us. I can guarantee you a purity of 96%. However, this other product is 99. I like his honesty. I'd love to know who synthesized it. A man who wants to work with me. I don't consider him a professional. If he's not, I don't know <laughs> what that makes me. His is the best I've ever seen, hands down. Wow. Who else would talk like that? And what's with the cutter? That's what I want to know. Who's going to use it? When? On whom? Okay, so I'm guessing that was before... I'm going to shut up now. Yeah, he's really dead. Mister, this is a crime scene. You don't want to touch anything. Ah, uh, in the eye. Drive. He's willing to accept his fate. <laughs> Two bald guys sitting in a room. One of them tells the other. No, nothing. I want to know how Jesse feels. I mean, <sighs> I know how he feels, but killing a person and not even out of self-defense and now the music stops gone splattered all over oh jesus jesus all right you do a sweep I couldn't people there he get himself seen by these people what about you <laughs> yeah so what just another looky loo Hmm, not really, because you entered the room. Hey. Marie. Oh, jeez, I, I, I woke you up. I woke you up. No, 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 it's okay. I needed to get up anyway. I just gotta say uh, that for my research for the list, I did go to uh, previous episodes, including season one, and then I realized how beautiful her hair is now that they have money and back then in season one it was kind of blah sorry it's okay another bill 
tell me if this is getting to be too much for you guys. Absolutely not, okay? It's absolutely fine. I would pay for my sister's husband bills. You and Walt? What? His car's parked in the driveway. It's not a state secret. Oh, right. She doesn't know that she, that he didn't leave. Check the, the engine hood. See if it's hot or cold. Oh. And... I wonder uh, why did they edit the traffic report? <laughs> she just went out with her pajamas. When are we going to see the cutter again? Which means we need to start a cook in the next 10 minutes to keep to our schedule. Gus's schedule. Come on, Mike, let us cook. Isn't that what this whole thing is about? That's the first time we see Victor acting all anxious and not this robot that he always is. That's right, genius. Watch me. <laughs> we ain't missing no cook. Oh my god, Jesse. Uh. We're closed. Saul, Skylar White on the line. He's nowhere to be found. I called his condo. I called every number I have for him. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. But he knows that Mike was looking for Jesse, so... Uh... Walt's a big boy. He'll turn up. Mr. Goodman, clearly something is going on here. I mean, why would he leave his car in my driveway? He carpools to his job at a meth lab. Hey, oh, 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 you're breaking up there. You're a chatty Kathy okay. today. Okay, okay. Do you know anything? Walter is fine, okay? I guarantee that 100%. You got a passport, right? Just don't forget Holly in the car. Are you sure there's nothing? No, it's not even me. It's state law, really. Oh, but I can't even get in my car. My car kings were on the same ring. My whole life was in that purse, and he just came and he cut it right off my shoulder. We could have been stopped. <laughs> see, uh, oh my god. See, she knows how to guilt people into doing her favors. Or get out of jams, like episode 7 and season 1. Not this. I call the pharmacy. Oh God! Oh. Not now. <laughs> yeah, she's so good in in doing that. Sir, again, thank you so much. Really. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Skyler. Oh my God. You know they really are like Bonnie and Clyde to criminals, lovers. Hmm. What happened to her? What's wrong? What? Hank is being hard on her? Yeah, he looks depressed. I heard it was very good. Why do they have two, like, separated beds? I heard you broke new ground today. I walked 16 feet in 20 minutes. <laughs> and I had maybe this much less shit in my pants. So yeah, right yeah, I can see why she had to take a few seconds in the car and breathe. But I am seeing progress. She's such a trooper. Wow. I need the thing. Okay. What's the thing? Numero uno. Dose. He's so lucky to have... Oh, I mean, that's, uh, I can also see why he's grumpy all the time at his age being in this condition is just, I would, I think if I was in his condition, I would even be worse than him. I can be a total bitch. 
been dependent like that when before he was this hotshot DEA agent. Should be wearing masks. Bet he forgets the aluminum. Guaranteed. He doesn't fucking... Guaranteed he forgets. <sighs> he has no regards to how Jesse is feeling. So it seems. Oh, you don't know what the hell you're doing, do you? You forgot the aluminum. One of the first steps in... Uh, hi, Gus. Hey, I'm sorry. Don't kill me. I like, I like how quiet they are. Look at Victor. Is he gonna cook? All right, let's talk about Gail Benneker. He's a good man. And a good chemist, and I cared about him. But I'd shoot him again tomorrow. And the next day. You make it Gail versus me, or Gail versus Jesse. Gail loses. Gail's death is on you. But what did you expect me to do? Just simply roll over and allow you to murder us? Without us, without Jesse and myself. You have no one to make your product. Certainly not him. I've been watching him for weeks. I know every step to his cook. If our reduction is not stereo-specific, then how can our product be enantiomerically pure? Come on. Help me out, professor! It's called a cook. Because everything comes down to following a recipe. Steps never change. And I know every step. He's looking for the... Yeah! This equipment is useless without us, without, without Jesse and myself. You have no... Jess hasn't said a word the entire episode and we're two thirds down. You kill me, you have nothing. You kill Jesse, you don't have me. It's so weird that he is the one who's executing the sentence. We'll just pick up right where we left off. <laughs> Ew! Oh my god! What the... Oh my... Even Mike is like, what the fuck, dude? Oh my god! What? The... I can't believe I'm actually seeing Gus killing someone with his bare hands. He wanted to show them? What is capable of doing? But Victor has been loyal to him this entire time. I still think they need to work a little bit on the fake uh, blood. Just a little bit. This time it was too watery. He hasn't said a word. It just... What's up, Mike? Did he shit his pants? Like Hank? <laughs> I cannot believe he actually ki He's actually killing people. He's, he doesn't look like the type. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I say poor Victor? Get back to work. Poor Jesse always gets stuck with... Dead bodies. Oh, here, wait, 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 just lift him up. There. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Ugh, that is just so inappropriate. Oh, my God. This is the second callback to season one. First, we had Skylar pretending to be in some sort of distress like she did in season one, episode seven. And now we have another body that they're going to, to melt like they did in episode two, season one. I never use this stuff. Are you sure it'll do the job? 
Yeah. Trust us. Uh, oh, Jesse. Oh, this is so ew. At least now they've done it right. Not like last time. <laughs> oh my god. They always do it. Oh, I want french fries. Oh, I'll finish the episode and then I'll order some. I'm actually surprised he's eating. Oh my god, they're making me hungry. How are you doing? It's not gonna find another chemist. But it took him years to find Gail. But he's sorry now. Are you sure? At least now we all understand each other. <laughs> if I can't kill you, you'll sure as shit wish you were dead. Okay, Jesse snapped out of it quite fast. Walter, what happened? Oh, you know, I was held hostage. Kenny Rogers. Right is right. Is the song we're hearing uh, is a Kenny Rogers song? Yeah. Hasta la vista, Victor. I guess. Um, I cannot believe I didn't see it coming. Uh, anyway, it was shocking. <laughs> I think I think I said ew during. I was actually shocked seeing Gus doing his own killing because he always seemed like to me the kind of of a criminal that has people who do it for him. I also didn't expect him to make it so messy. I really like that in this episode we had uh, two uh, callbacks to season one. You know, with uh, episode two when Jesse melted the body, this time they did it the correct way. <laughs> and Jesse's, uh, like it, he said to Mike, uh, trust me. Yeah, he knows. And then on episode seven in season one, Skylar faked um, she faked, uh, what do you call it, uh, contractions, right? When <laughs> the store manager <laughs> held her hostage <laughs> in his office, his crampy office, <laughs> when they thought she, she uh, shoplifted the tiara. Yeah, and in this episode, she pretended to have some sort of a heart condition so that uh, the locksmith would open the door. <laughs> She is great. I mean, when she does that, wow, she's she does it so well. I liked uh, the fact that Jesse uh, did not speak most of the time. I'm just uh, worried about him. Even Walter asked him, are you sure you're okay? He had an appetite. He was eating. Walter and Jesse really need to be very, very careful now not to do any more stupid shit. I wonder, ooh. There was the scene with uh, with Saul. He asked his uh, security person if he has a passport. Oh, you know what? Is he living? The first scene we saw him in this episode, he was searching for, I guess, um, I don't know what, what you call those little thingies. Surveillance and all that. And then he talked from a payphone, and then he asked his bodyguard if he has a passport. I assume he wants his bodyguard to come along with him. Let me know, I mean, if it's not spoiler, uh, let me know if that's if that was the last time we, we've seen uh, Saul. Oh, let's not forget Gail's uh, lab notes. I wonder how much information is written in that um, notebook. Did he mention names? Obviously, there, there's a lot of chemistry doodles and uh, info in it. So I hope we're gonna see that notebook again. 
I liked seeing the, the flashback. It was cool. And his honesty, wow. I mean, he already got the job. He didn't have to do that. I think most people wouldn't have told Gus that, hey, I'm not as good as that guy. And maybe, maybe you should take that guy. But he did, uh, which only makes him even better. So yeah, I guess, you know, when we, uh, at the end of the episode, when we went back to Gail's apartment and there was police there, uh, you know, putting the, the tape all around and uh, measuring things and checking things, I thought, mm, maybe they'll find a, a murdered woman somewhere in his house. And, you know, maybe, I, I really want to. I really wanted to be right on that department of him being like a hoo-hoo, but no, he wasn't. He was actually a good guy and very honest. So I'm guessing the uh, the flashback took place before um, before Walter came uh, to Los Poyos the second time. I think it was after Gus saw that Jesse was late and high and decided, no, I'm not going to work with them. I mean, the way Jesse hit him right here. Ooh! Oh, you know what? Jesse uh, aimed to Gail's eye and then Skylar saw in the, in the drawer the eye of the teddy bear. Uh, now, I gotta say the, uh, the wound was, I don't know, it looked kind of clean. Uh, if I should say so myself as a professional killer. Oh wait, let's not forget about Hank. The fact that Marie, each time she arrives home, she needs to stay in the car for a few seconds and take a breather and collect herself and prepare herself for what's inside the house. Uh, she's just an amazing woman, an amazing wife. And um, Hank... When you understand the condition he's in, he's, how old is he? 40 something. And he is dependent on Marie and doctors for everything. He cannot even go to the bathroom by himself. I mean, I would be even worse, like I said, I would be even worse to deal with if I were in his condition. Anyway, yeah, that's all we've got for today. If you like this video, of course, hit the like button. And if you're still here and you're not subscribed, subscribe and hit the bell. I upload Breaking Bad uh, every Sunday and Thursday. Uh, usually I also do um, movie reactions on Thursday, on Tuesdays. I'm sorry. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.